Welcome everybody. We are in the Miami Design District today because a special vehicle is at the Tesla store. And I just found out about a couple days ago and I had to rush down to get it. The cyber trucks are popping up at different Tesla stores across the country. There's about, I think, 11 locations as of this video that have it. One of those being Miami. So we are in the beautiful Miami Design District here to check out the cyber truck. All right, we are walking into the Tesla store here in Miami. So before we go inside, I'm not sure what we're waiting for. I think we have to fill out something before we can actually go in the Tesla store. All right, we just have to fill out some information there. I'm sure they're going to send us promotional emails. But here is first look at the Cybertruck in all its glory. You can see the, the headlight bar is on in the front. All right, starting at the front of the Cybertruck, let's do a full 360 walkthrough. And then we'll get some close-up shots of the vehicle as well. So now, as you can see, we're towards the back of the Cybertruck. Things that I'm noticing is obviously the red bar in the back, which would be your tail lights and brake lights, just one uniform bar across, similar to the headlights. I'm seeing a rear view camera in the back. And this is obviously where the massive cargo space is, if you lift up that cover right there. Now on the other side, Coming back around to the front. Wow, it's an impressive vehicle. I'm trying to get some close-ups inside, but there is way too much glare. So that's a 17-inch screen right there. Yeah, it does look pretty small in there. The rearview mirror. Then they've got more tints on the back than the front. So it's a little hard to see there. Let's see from this angle right here. You can see some stickers on the headrest of the seats. Check out this absolutely massive windshield wiper. I mean, it goes across all the way. That is one windshield wiper, that's insane. And obviously there's a huge windshield, so that is necessary. Here's a close-up of the front left wheel sporting Goodyear tires and what looks like I believe a hubcap and I think that's actually like a rubber material I've seen videos on the internet showing people kind of peeling it back so it is a rubber it, it looks it looks like you might be you might think it's a solid material just looking at it even from the photographs and presentations but I believe that is just uh, rubber I'm just now recording literally everything that I'm able to see here that looks like a side camera right on the left side over the front left wheel. Imagine there's a lot more cameras here. Got one right there. Between the front and the rear door. Let's see how many cameras we can find. Another Goodyear tire. And then the rear camera that I told you guys earlier right there standard in most modern vehicles now oh they might be you see right there looks it does look like the buttons to uh, open or retract the cover right there on the trunk you can see on the tire from when they brought it in there's some rocks stuck in in the in the tire there of course this had to be driven in and the street is just right there I didn't get to see when they brought him in and I don't know when they're going to take it out. An employee told me he doesn't even know when it's going to be taken from here, maybe to be relocated to another store that might need it. But for now, it is here in Miami. And of course, just a little break from the Cybertruck. They do have some models here showing the full self-driving computer that Teslas use. And you can see up close all the different parts and chips that make the full self-driving work. It's very impressive. And then even the autopilot cameras are here. I've been to other Tesla stores, I guess none as uh, detailed as this one. This one has the cameras all around so you can see even the panels with the camera, similar to what we saw there on the Cybertruck. I can't tell for sure, but this looks like the, the Cybertruck tire marks all around the floor here as they were maneuvering it for a display, <laughs> pretty cool. Checking the gaps here, uh, they look pretty good. 
I'm noticing some people usually complain about Teslas and their uh, poor build quality with misaligned gaps, but I'm not seeing any so far. Let's go to the other side. All right, right here, just on the other side, everything looks pretty aligned there. Nothing crazy. Here's an interior shot from the opposite side, just so you can see the yoke steering wheel there, the big screen right at the center, uh, the, the pretty small rear view mirror right there. And again, it is too dark to see the back. Here's just an overview of the people. It's not a, like a large crowd or anything, but people are steadily streaming in to see Cybertruck up close, getting all the close-up details, photographs in front of it, selfies, and still more people just kind of streaming on in. Another thing they have on display is the plaid drive unit. It's massive, look at that. And then right beside it, they have a heat pump. You can see all the details there. Made in Mexico. Got the Tesla logo there. Here they have the Tesla Bot 2023, aka Optimus, a humanoid robot designed to complete jobs that are repetitive, boring, or dangerous for humans. It greets you, first thing, when you walk in, it's the first thing you see other than the massive Cybertruck. And you can see there's also a belt buckle on it. I've seen that on the Tesla website. It says, don't mess with Tesla. Pretty cool. Really cool to see these things up close. I've only seen them like in the live presentations on the official website, but never up close. The Tesla bot and the Cybertruck. So in case you don't know, there's armored glass and durable stainless steel all around the body of the Cybertruck. And that's one of the, the huge selling points, uh, things that they're using to market it with, especially at the presentation, they threw that big steel ball at it. It did crack the windshield, but did not shatter it entirely. So this is very, very, very durable armor glass that you're seeing right there. So the reason why these Cybertrucks are popping up at Tesla stores is because of the delivery event on November 30th. That's when Elon Musk is going to deliver the first Cybertruck and we will hopefully know a lot more between the first time it was announced a couple years ago and now things have surely changed such as pricing and maybe some spec updates as well. But on the website, Tesla's official website, they have it at 0 to 60 in 2.9 seconds. The range is up to 500 miles. Towing capability is of over 14,000 pounds. The trunk capacity of up to 3,500 pounds. And the interior has six seats, at least in the, the photographs on the website. I can't see for sure if it does. It doesn't look like it. But on the picture on the website, there's three seats in the front and of course your standard three seats in the back. All right, hope you guys enjoyed the video. It is a little bit of a shorter video than I normally make, but it's a cool video that I'm interested in. I hopefully you guys are also interested in my subscribers and newcomers. I know there's a lot of interest in Cybertruck and Tesla in general, so I hope you enjoyed the video. I tried to show as much as I could in the small space that I had in the Tesla store. They didn't have anything open for us to see, so I did what I could from the exterior and hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments below if you like the Tesla Cybertruck or if you're planning on buying one even and whether it's a vehicle for you in general. And with that said, hit the like button, subscribe if you're new here, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Cool thing about this garage in the design district is there is a, a slide. Oh! <laughs> And you can go down and there's literally a parking garage.